Get ready. It's time. Christina, Catherine, Lisa, Amy, and Lauren. Welcome to the Cimarelli Podcast. Hey, I'm Christina. I'm Catherine. I'm Amy. I'm Lauren. And, and we're Cimarelli. Welcome back to the Cimarelli Podcast. Hey. This episode is sponsored by Green Chef. Ooh. Yay. Green love Chef. Love my life. Green Chef is the love of Amy's life. No. Yes. Green Chef is the number one meal kit for eating well with options for every lifestyle. Keto, protein packed, vegan, vegetarian, fast and fit, Mediterranean, gluten free. Get 60% off plus free shipping with code Cimarelli60 at greenchef.com slash Cimarelli six zero. I love it. Love it. Love it. Love it. Love All right. It. Let's jump in. What is this episode? So this is episode one sixty one. And we are talking all about skin, the song, the music how. So <laughs> the music how. <laughs> Anywho, the Twinkle Town music. Yes. Yeah, so we're getting into how our Twinkle Town music how called skin came to be. The song portion. Our next podcast episode is going to be all about the music video. <laughs> just, um, she just said, we're getting into how our Twinkle Town music how came to be, a.k.a. High School Musical, how we wrote the song Skin. Yeah. Yes. I, that was clear to me. I didn't blink. So I was like, did, did you guys totally. catch that? Sometimes I just like to think of the most interesting way to say something. Yes. I mean, With I enjoy it. the most weird things but... you can put in there. Um, but yeah, so we're going to talk to you all about how we wrote Skin. We're going to go behind the scenes of the production and all these different things. As I said, next week's podcast is going to be all about the music video where we will be assigned, assigned, joined by our associates that are behind the camera, <laughs> Ariel and Will I Am, aka William. So catch them next week, ladies and gents. Woo-hoo. Love it, love it. So Guys, I'd like to um, do a quick comment on our outfits. I would like to name this outfit <gasps> combination chocolate covered citrus. And it was not planned. But I just think it's weird that they're both wearing brown and we're both wearing like bright, like technically this citrusy. is like burgundy. It's not really brown. Okay, well it, it looks brown. brown to me. The right lighting, now. it's brown, but out yeah. there it's like red tone. I just had to make oh, that um, connection. Purpley red. Like that is not the same. Okay, that's a weird okay. cool. That was one of my strengths on the strength really finder. Just it was like looks for different. patterns Wait, and what? connections. Anyway, I love it. <laughs> Always looking for patterns. I've never done that strength finder thing. So <laughs> do it. I did. It's it really actually cool. really helped me and changed Same. my view of myself. Ooh. Like, yeah. Okay, I should do it. Yes. Okay. I was going to say this thing, but I'm definitely not going to say it because it was way too much about the string spiner thing. I'm not going to say it. Um, I know. I was like about to like golf and I was like, no, no, no I don't have the time for that. Focus. All right. So <laughs> let's jump into this episode then. We start with our highs and lows and then we'll get into the main topic. So, ladies, what are your highs and lows of the week? Um, my high is after the Great War. The what? Great War, what? as some called it. You, they don't know what I'm talking about. Not you, but they will. What? Yeah. I finally procured tickets. Oh, Lauren, that great. Wait, I know what you're talking the about. Era's tour. Ah! Who do you think I am? The Great War. That is the Great War. Is that one of her song it? titles, Yes, right? it's one of her song titles. Everyone's that calling is the it the Great, great war. war, trying to get tickets. I lost the Great War, but yes. you know what they say. You lost the battle, but you didn't You lose may the have war. lost. No, whatever. Battle, I won the war, but, but I lost haven't. that battle. Yes. So I got tickets. I just knew you would, though. See my girl. Me too. I'm like, there's no way Lauren's not There's going. no way Lauren's not going to do it. Do you have your outfit? I'm in the process of getting it. I bought a Which bunch era? of things. Oh, you don't know? No, I'm going to do the lover era. Oh, so I'm in the like, oh, yes. colorful, sparkly vibe. Yes. Wait, Lauren. Oh, my gosh. God, it's like fun. prom. Oh, my gosh. It literally I love it. is. I'm Wait, like, what dress am I going to wear? Can I take your picks? <laughs> yeah. Wait, which? Doing? Okay. I was going to okay. say, which era would, would you guys do? Okay. Ooh. I would go as hmm. reputation. I feel like I want to be goth. Folklore. I think it would be fun. Oh. You would do folklore well, everywhere. But I feel like that wouldn't be fun. That or fun. speak now. I, like I, a, I, I was going to say dress. speak now. Yes. I'd either do Enchanted. reputation so I could be goth. And I also feel like not very many people do reputation. Yeah. Or I do, um, what is the debut debut Taylor? Oh, yeah. Like country I do girl. that. With the giant curls. That's what you should do. That would be easy Reputation. 
No, you <gasps> should do debut where you oh. wear like a c- country dress and your cowgirl boots. I love that it. Would that would be, be fun. Cute. Yeah, I would say maybe two. You have to do, see if you could do the really tight curls, oh see what gosh. would happen. Yeah, with not very much hair, but length of hair, uh, that would be really cool. It would make your hair, I feel like, look like it was like a lot Is that lot, the same? You said you'd be between reputation and. Yeah. The, hey, I'd be between the same ones. Either reputation or totally. Oh, and also I love. Um, we are never ever. Is that oh, red? Red. red. Oh, I could see that. I love red. red. You that could was do a great red album. in your sleep, though. But I've done red so many times, like in our videos and stuff. Yeah. I'm like, I want to do something. Well, and you used to dress unique. a lot like red that, is too. Yeah. When you were too like 13. structured for my taste. Yeah. It's very like preppy. <clears throat> mm. Yeah, yeah. That's not me. That's yeah. so cool that you. I ain't oh, doing that. What a anyway. marketing mind. Okay, anyway, that, that was my high. high. I That is the most high of highs. I know. Um, My low. <laughs> is life sorrows mm. you know what i get that you know, I do. comes in waves yeah, totally. for freaking sure that's it i love <laughs> all right don't next. love that for you <laughs> yeah next next please. all right i'll say my low is the great war <laughs> my my home <laughs> <laughs> what? Um, that is a war yeah i just i i'm really trying to like clean out my home and reorganize and get rid of a bunch of stuff and it's like every single anthill that I uncover there's like a swarm of bees that Mm. comes around the corner it's like I think my house looks worse (laughs) since Mm. I started trying to remove things it's like you have to make a mess so I've just been trying to like declutter minimalize that is true though when you declutter it gets worse it gets worse yeah I I do see the light well no I really don't see the light at the end of the tunnel but I know it's there and I'll get there you but it's really just been... just gotta have Max take the children out for like a few hours I need like days get them though. out of yeah. the home for no like every time you declutter every get them time out of the home yeah honestly that would be helpful because I can't do it when they're there because they just try to take everything no. out of the piles yeah do, I get literally them can't out, do it when they're awake and then just choose small things to go through that you yeah. can have done by the time they get back yeah I know I do need to do that I think doable So, yeah, I don't know. That's just been a little stressful. I'm trying to go through my home and I just am not able to properly do it. Yeah. I started a pile and it's been sitting there for like two weeks. I'm just like. But um, I would say my high is just that my husband had his birthday this week. Um, Actually, this weekend we're going axe throwing. What? So I'm excited. Whose idea was that? It's like a a date thing. Well, there's just like a there's a new one in our area. So I was Was like, we got to check it out. Your idea or his idea? Um, it was my idea. Oh, I love it. Yeah. Oh, it really yeah. You gotta I'm send the videos. I gotta know. I'm the one in the relationship who comes up with the random things we yeah, should do. Yeah, you think Max, like, we well, should do Well, no, I'm like, the... maybe someone at, like, his work was like, No, no, no. One Axe of my throwing. friends told me about it. Oh. She was like, oh, we went. It was really fun. I was like, oh, we should, we should do that. You're gonna so. throw axes. Yes. That would be fun. It's, a, it's apparently really fun. Nick would love I feel like that. I'd be Nick good would... at it. <laughs> Nick I would am love excited. That. You guys should go axe throwing. <gasps> you guys should come with us sometime. the idea. Because it just sounds like an accident waiting to no, happen. No, no. It waiting to happen. My friend said it was very waiting. safe and very I feel well like regulated. It sounds safe to me. If so many people do it, it should be. How is that a pun? What safe? Waiting to happen. Yeah, where was the pun in there? Oh, oh accident, because it's axes. Oh, Axe. okay. Yeah, was <laughs> I was like, where's the pun? Oh, I got it. Okay, anyway, that's your. <laughs> yeah, that's my high, incoming high and current low. Hmm. Love it. I'll just go again with the various meltdowns. That's really it. I'm just having a lot of meltdowns lately. I've been too stressed, and then I can't get too stressed. Too stressed on- to be blessed. <laughs> Never stressed. During our photo shoot for the <laughs> yes. merch, Michael was turning on. Feeling good, never blessed, never stressed, and yelling that at me <laughs> to make fun of me. And I was uh, like, thanks, but yes. <laughs> Anywho, yeah, I can't have added stress. But I do because that's just how my brain is. But I'm working on it, kind of. Anywho, um, oh, my high is that I got rid of a bunch of my plans over the weekend and I sat in my room and produced a really good song. Oh, so that was fun. That was a good it's song. It's good. Wait, that's the one you sent us, right? Yeah. That was really it's good. It's good. So, yeah. I listened to it outside in nature. Really? Yeah. In nature. I was like, oh, I got this Navy song, and I was out I in the it. trees. Just, you know. I'm excited about it. it. I am diligently-ish working on music, guys, just so you know. Ish. Love it. Yeah, it's Diligently-ish. Ish. When I start working on it, it's diligent. Mm, and then in it. between, it's that's the ish. Mm, got it. I mean, you don't know anyone in explanation. Thank you. You be you. Yeah. Be you. Go at your own pace. Thank you. 
Go at your own pace. Let's see. Um, yeah, I don't know. For some reason, my week just seems so the same level. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like not many highs or lows. Mm. Well, okay. I'll just do one thing that's a high and a low. Here we go. So the low is that, no, the high is that officially Bear has reached the age where he wants to be outside every single day, every minute of every day, the morning, as soon as we wake up, and at night, Aww. every minute of every day. So it's like, I want to go outside. Can I go outside? I want to go outside all day long. But that's also, so it's fun. It's great. He wants to go outside. It's great. But it's a low because he doesn't want to do anything anything inside Um, so i'm like we need to eat breakfast (laughs) i really want to go outside i'm like we have to eat breakfast and i don't want to go outside to eat breakfast because i need to make breakfast first right so i'm like i have to make it i have to make dinner i need to do some chores i need to do different things so i think it'll just take another week or so of me being like well we can't go outside right now and then he'll realize like okay there are some times when we can't go outside Mm. but he hasn't realized yet he's still in the in the protesting phase where he's gonna be really upset about it every time but after mm. um, enough times i think he'll get over it so anyway that's my high and my low because i'm already like oh gosh when i get home tonight as soon as i get home he's gonna say mommy can i go outside i want to go outside like, i just want to put my feet up <laughs> for a minute I'm gonna say, oh, we're gonna make dinner i don't want dinner <laughs> sorry no it's gonna happen when we get home <laughs> good luck so that's my high and my low that's her great that's war funny. Yeah, it's my great It's funny because I dream about like having a table for the twins outside. I'm like, oh, that would be so cool if I could take them out to eat breakfast. But I just idealize everything. And I'm like, really, in, in reality, it's going to be a giant mess. And it's going to be stressful. It wouldn't even be that fun. <laughs> but in my mind, I'm like, oh, how cute. We eat breakfast outside. But I don't think it would actually be that good. Oh, breakfast outside would be kind of fun. But I'm like, they make such a mess that what am I going to like, I guess hose it down? <laughs> like, what do you do? <laughs> yes. They just get stuff everywhere. Yeah, know. just hose it down. I'll just have a That's collection one. of crumbs and stuff in it's my one of the grass. pros of a dog. If you have all dog yeah, safe foods, dogs. they just eat it. Mm, it's actually that. amazing. When Frankie comes in, he Roomba. leaves not one crumb. <laughs> that's actually, no, he literally is that's like, actually really helpful. Gone. Okay, so... <laughs> that's that's it that's our highs and lows um you guys I can't believe you have a dog that's so weird i know no but everyone's like did you people message me randomly all the time but not all the time i don't know and they're like how come we haven't seen frankie did you get rid of frankie almost like accusing me i'm like what i don't post him online basically ever but i still have a dog I've had him for years that is so strange i know so let's go to the main point here Um, Guys, this episode is all on YouTube right now, but our next episode where we're going to go in depth about the music video for Skin is only going to be partially available on YouTube and the full thing is on Patreon. Every other episode, we upload half on YouTube and the full thing on Patreon. So if you'd like to see every full Cinderella Podcast episode, you have to join our Patreon. It's $5 a month to be able to see all the episodes. And we also have other tiers um, that are more and offer more things like a live stream once a month of that with us, which the goal of the live stream recently is for us to share something we haven't shared anywhere online. Mm-hmm. Right. And that's what we did last time. Yeah. We did a lot last time. We did like a Q and a, yeah, she was trying to share everything. I'm like, Christina, Christina. <laughs> we did a Q and a about skin. Um, before we had said anything really publicly. <laughs> Ariel behind the camera just dropped something her phone um, anyway we did a Q&A about skin before we said anything publicly so the patrons got a major inside look at that and yeah, that's the goal every month of the live stream is we tell you guys we give you some kind of inside scoop so anyway if you want to be a part of that exclusive club it's our Patreon linked in the description patreon.com slash love it so let's get into the song skin so as you guys know, our song Skin is either about to come out or out, depending on when you're watching this. It is our new single in the year of 2023, Woo-hoo. in the month of May. And uh, we, you can see like we put a lot into, this is like our biggest effort we've done in a long, 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 long time. So that's what we're dedicating this whole episode to this. We're doing a video on our YouTube main channel about the meaning of all the lyrics, because this is more the making of the song, not the meaning of all of it. We're talking about the meaning and breaking it all down on that video on our YouTube channel. And then we're doing the one I just mentioned, the episode next week about the music video and the meaning of the music video and all the behind the scenes stuff. So we're really telling you guys everything here. So 
Skin is our new single. It's a very, I, let's say like, Kathy, you want to say the meaning of the song, the message of the song, and then we'll get into the making of the song. Okay. Yeah, the the meaning of the song, um, I originally wrote it as an anthem for um, survivors of SA, and then it sort of broadened into an anthem for people with different types of trauma, kind of mainly related to the body because it's skin. That's like the theme. Um, and I think the main theme is like, th- like that your identity does not only lie in your body. You are like, you're a person who has a broader identity given to you by God and no one can like touch that or harm it or take mm. that away from you, no matter what mm. type of trauma you've been through. So mm. that's kind of like the that. meaning I think of the the origin of the song. I even listened to the song when I was in like a, like a little bit of a funk, a a um, desolate mental state um, one night a couple weeks ago. I, it was at night and I was just like driving somewhere. What was I doing? Oh, I was driving somewhere to like get some, I don't remember. And I was like, oh, it was, it was prep stuff for the music video. So I was like driving here and there, whatever. And I was like feeling really bad. I saw some like negative comments that normally those don't get to me, but there's these certain ones that were really getting to me. And then I listened to Skin and it totally pulled me out. It, it totally worked. It pulled me out of like the negative space that I was in and like brought me back to reality. It like Ooh. brings you back to like what's real, mm-hmm. which is cool because you can get kind I of like that. lost in your mind, in your emotions, whatever, in whatever, in like this fantasy world. I don't know. You know what I mean? It's like if you if you're focusing on something really hard, like um, focusing your appearance really hard, you can start thinking about it all the time, obsessing about it, and you can like forget about like life. It can like mm. consume your whole life mm-hmm. and become your life at that moment. So that was cool that it literally pulled me out of that when I was listening to it. I can't wait to hear everyone's stories of like oh, how the song impacts yeah. them. Wow! Oh, I'm so excited. So really shall cool. we start? The inspiration for the song, you kind of already touched on that. Is there anything you didn't touch on that? The inspiration oh, I for guess the song, one thing I didn't say that I just thought of as you, you were talking is um, that it's all like also a big part of it is um, dehumanization, which is mm. basically when you make a person feel like an object. Mm. And there's a lot of they, they, they in the songs. Like they said, they said, they say this. And in the end, they'll never take your, what's under your skin. Like they, they, they. It's just sort of like the voices of the world and just these different situations where someone feels like an object, you hear people talking about someone else like they're not even human and just how like degrading and dehumanizing that is. That was sort of like very much addressed in the song. Mm. So the writing of the song, we're gonna talk about the writing, the recording um, and then production. Mm -hmm. So the writing of the song, how did this start? Okay, I love the start of this. So. We had a writer's retreat Wasn't back that in your idea in the first place, the writer's retreat. Um, I maybe I don't know. I'm not sure. Like, we should do retreat, guys. We should go. I mean, I think I found the Airbnb. Airbnb. <laughs> yeah, I found this Airbnb for us out in the country because we were talking a lot about how we wanted to prioritize original music. So crazy. And we were like, we need to put time aside. So we rented it for like a week. We got this Airbnb out in the country. I remember exactly because this? it was April of 2021. I had just gotten back from Hawaii. I was pregnant with the twins. Um, I think I was like two or three months pregnant. And um, I think I was still throwing up. Ooh, that's not fun. But um, yeah, so we were we were at this Airbnb. We were all writing and it was really cool. It had like all these different rooms and upstairs and downstairs. We were kind of like all in different areas. And I was really drawn to this front room that had a lot of light coming in these big windows. And there was a piano in there. It was just like super cozy. Like it was honestly like a dream area for me to, and I felt really just free to be creative. And I remember just like sitting on the floor. I remember this like so clearly. And I was just like writing writing out ideas, like lyrics. I was like recording stuff on my phone. I was playing piano, thinking of chords and just kind of like just letting it flow, just thinking of different things. And there was some recent story that had happened of like, um, these like survivors of and I, I don't know why that just like grabbed me. And I was like, Ooh, I like, I was like trying to empathize with like, how does that feel when you are like publicly being like mm. your trauma that is like so painful is being like publicly brought about and people mm. are talking about you and people are like, it's not that anyone was blaming them, but it was like, it was like their humanity was being lost. And mm. it really like, it really was like that thought was really impacting me. That feeling was like just striking me. And I was trying to think of like, 
what, cause I, it's weird. Cause looking back, I was writing it for these people, but I was also writing it for myself. And mm. I, I didn't know it at the time, but I was just starting to heal from an eating disorder and I was also pregnant. So I had gained some weight. My body was changing a lot and I felt very dehumanized in a lot of way. Not that anyone said anything to me, but it was just like my idea of worth and image was sort of like melting away. And I was trying to like grasp onto like what, how do, how do I, like, what is my identity? If mm-hmm. I, if it's not in my body looking a certain way, if that body is changing, what is my identity? Who am I? What am I worth? Like, I, I really, I'm not a very, like, I'm very self aware in retrospect, but in the moment I'm not very good about being present with myself. So I was inspired by this, this, like these people, but I really do think that I wrote that for them, but I also wrote it for me and what I was going mm. through in a very different way. And that was kind of came out in the verses more. So anyway, that was the impetus for the song. I was, we wrote it. I wrote it at this writer's retreat that we were having. Weren't you sitting there with the piano? Yeah. In that one room? Yeah. I sat at the piano. I can't even remember exactly, but it like, I remember it just like poured out of me. It was very easy. Like just the chorus came really easily. The, I think I, I think the things I first thought of was the chorus. And then I thought of the bridge and outro. Those were like the Mm. three that came to me, melody and which is, I am a mother, daughter, sister, and then the outro being, they'll never take what's under your skin, they'll never break what's under your skin. Those And the chorus, those three parts kind of like, just like flowed really easily. So yeah, that was like the impetus for the beginning of the song. And you like recorded it on your phone and then we came in and you played, didn't you like yeah. just play it and sing it live, right? I think I did, mm-hmm. yeah. So I remember that and I remember being like, whoa, this is really like a really powerful concept. But for some reason I knew it wasn't for the time, like we weren't going to do it yet. Yeah. I was like, I don't feel like we need to release it right away. Um, but I was like, this is really powerful. I feel like we're definitely going to release this. And also I feel like I didn't really have a lot of confidence in it because I don't normally do a lot of like songwriting. I feel like, like I write a lot of poetry and lyrics, but it doesn't always end up in the song. So I just was like, I don't know if this is good. This might, did I steal this melody? I don't, I don't know if this is good. I felt kind of weird. Like I remember being really nervous to share it. Like, <laughs> I don't know how I feel. But it was so, it was so unique. I was like, I don't think I've heard anyone say that. So I was like, mm-hmm. that is cool. Yeah. Something is interesting is that when you're saying you were writing it for someone else, but then you realize you were also writing for yourself, the same thing happened to me with your worth it. I had someone very specific in mind when I was writing the chorus. Mm. And then later I was like, wait, I was obviously... <laughs> thinking of myself too but I did not think that when I was writing it so that's kind of what you were doing you like weren't thinking of yourself yeah and also too there was another echo of like we had been in LA previously and like I remember that trip just feeling really like not that anyone did this to me it was just sort of the vibe overall was like objectified like I felt like all I was was like how I looked, my body, my image. And I that was also sort of in my head as I was like writing that. Mm. Just that feeling of like, oh, all you are is the way you look. That's all people see. That's all that matters. Other thing I remember from that writer's retreat is <laughs> you made really good chicken. Oh, yes. And I ate five <laughs> drumsticks. Wait, what? And I got a horrible stomach ache. You made drumsticks. There were drumsticks. I remember you made like a summer salad. You made salad. that cor- corn thing? Maybe actually. No, I made. I might have put the drumsticks in. I just realized I might have put those no, in. No, it myself. was. No, I made. Um, It was I like a I summer that. burrata skillet yes, with oh like gosh. corn and red onions okay. and cherry tomatoes. Oh, it was oh, so good. It's my good. favorite yes. dish for it, the summer. This was the problem. It was, was it so. It was so good. I had drumsticks that I had made <laughs> and oh, I yes. ate five it of had them. In it, and then I couldn't eat as much of that because I had such a horrible stomach ache, but it tasted so good. So I was so mad because I was yeah, like, I was like, guys, we, it need, tastes a, so we need a grand dinner. And I have to say a random story of that is that I was, was making, so um, peach, no, uh, peach cobbler. Some, yes, some, yes, yes. I was making peach cobbler yep. and I didn't have all the ingredients for some reason. And I went to this little general store because you're out in the country and they didn't have it. I stopped. I saw this old lady sitting outside of her house. I, this is me being the most expert I've ever been. I stopped on the side of the road. I went up to the old lady. I was like, I'm so sorry. Do you have a, I was like, I'm, I'm renting that house over there with my sisters. Do you happen to have a teaspoon of cinnamon that I could have? She's like, oh yeah, sure. She went in her house and got it. So anyway, that was very random. That is so <laughs> That's funny. Really fun. Wow. That was that such a good meal. I literally just drove up. Well, I would so. think that was a scam for sure. <laughs> it's like, they're going to kidnap me. <laughs> I know, I know. Okay, anyway, I just wanted to, I just remembered that memory that I was so mad. I got like a- That was such a good meal. Maybe like too much protein. I can still taste it. 
I was so mad I because I she, make made, that again. That was good. she made all that good food and I could barely eat it because I had too much chicken. Okay, let's move on. So <laughs> Not the chicken. So that happened. And then. When did it like come back and why? I'll tell you. It was me. Was it you? Yeah, it was me. It was Aww. when Christina was off on maternity leave and it was just us three for a time. Oh, yeah, I remember that. And oh. I was like, guys, we got to get back in the original music. And Skin, like you're just playing of it like was like in my mind that whole year like it, mm-hmm. I, it kept coming up for me like oh we gotta do that song we gotta do that song so i was like why don't we work on it and make some time for it right now and so us three we got started, together yeah, oh, that was and so we cool. just yeah. sat down at the piano here and we wrote like a verse and pre and like kind of fine-tuned the chorus mm-hmm. and like started yeah. with like a first real demo of it yeah, yeah. that was yeah because so i had all these ideas for a verse i didn't really know where i wanted the verse to go but i remember i had this one idea of like this tumblr poem i saw years ago i couldn't remember it, but it was like what it's in the way she yes. like it's oh, like yeah. it's like you don't think you're beautiful but yes, you don't I'm, see yourself when you turn the page your eyes and light up brush. reading a book yes <laughs> like that type of thing i was like uh, you don't see you're beautiful and then i wrote all you this don't see stuff your eyes light kind of inspired by that very loosely but then ended up being more dark than that it was like yeah. smaller is better don't take too much space like yeah, yeah. and it's yeah. funny because i remember when we were writing it i was like okay hey guys let's just not really think about this let's just kind of do like first thing comes to mind <laughs> if it's good it's good and then just move on like let's just yeah. write this super fast and like when i was writing it i was like i don't really know if this is good like i was just doing random chords melody whatever i don't know if this is good but let's just do it, was it really and good. then we'll listen to it later and see if it's good but let's yeah. just finish this Laura that's just, like, what you did with yeah the melody she flowed it okay. was really good it was fast because then easy because then i remember listening to that I, I remember did you play it for me or did you send I think it you probably me? sent it yeah i remember listening to it and being like whoa this is really good oh my gosh because i already liked okay so i already liked the chorus but we didn't have a um, verse when you mm-hmm. played it right yeah we didn't yeah. it was so just being like, and bridge oh this verse is really cool oh my gosh i love this melody i love the direction i love how where this is going and then i remember thinking i think this is the one we need to release next. yeah and that was, I don't remember when I heard it. Was it the end of 2022 or the beginning of 2023? It must have been the end of 2022. So then I remember I had that in my mind, like, okay, we got to release this one in 2023. So then we went into 2023 and I was, so on my bathroom floor, because Barrett ripped it down, I had my goals that were on the wall that were on the floor. And I saw that my goals from 2022, like my biggest goal was original music being like our, our number one thing. And I realized and I asked myself a question. If original music was my number one goal in 2022, why did I put like hardly any time into it? Why were there weeks that went by where I put not one minute into it? Mm. So then I realized that is still absolutely my goal going into 2023 and our collective goal. So if that's really our goal, then I had to put my money where my mouth is and we have to actually put in so much more time and make it a priority. We have to. Is that me? No, it's you're oh. calling me. <laughs> <laughs> I put my phone in my lap and then I'm like, wait. <laughs> I look at my phone and it's oh, just oh. I'm like, how? Why? Is she- I was so freaked out. I'm like, who has your phone? Why are they calling me? <laughs> it's a call from That's God. Scary. Okay, mm-hmm. anyway. So going into this year, I was like, we are going to put so much time and effort into original music, like it, like actually act like it's our top priority. And we totally changed the way we worked and everything. And I'm very happy with this year so far, like what we've done. So I remember we decided we're going to do that song. And first we showed it to Lisa and Le- just that, just that part. Yeah. And Lisa's like, uh... I don't really know. I think she was like, I don't really see it. Well, because she was like, uh, it's like so like sad, but then like the happy chorus? and the chorus isn't quite hitting. And we're like, no, 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 no. You just haven't seen the whole vision. Yeah, yet. yeah. Just trust me. Like, the chorus is so upbeat, but then it's like, yeah. She, yeah. Okay. So then I, you send it to me. Well, wait, we should talk about the chorus because you changed quite a bit of the chorus, I feel like, too. Remember? Yeah. Lauren, like, restructured the chorus. Like, I was only going to be saying, you're more than skin, more than bone, more than a world grown harsh and cold, and they'll never take what's under your skin. You are heart and soul. So I, like, had this little, like, break in between, and Lauren's like, we should put it all together. Yeah. Yeah. And I do that that ending part just at the end. end. Yeah. I feel like it was breaking it up. I wanted to keep going. And Lauren wrote the line. Um, you are more than what's under your clothes. Lauren wrote that line in the chorus. Oh, I love that. Which I love that line. So good. 
Yeah. Okay. So, so yeah, that changed before I think it was shown So then to you. you sent it to me and I was like, okay, I want to work on the second verse. And I was like, I don't know. I was like, we take this in a really dark direction. Maybe. So then I was like, um, I wrote a bunch of the, let's see, I think the bulk of that. I wrote like the the content that's in there. It's like we mentioned self-harm. We mentioned drinking essay, drinking your pain away. Is there, that's the three themes, right? Yeah. 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 So I'm like, we let's mention those things. So I wrote a rough idea of what you hear now. It's not the same, but the the general like themes in there. But then I was like, I don't know if they're going to be like, this is too dark. Of course, Lauren wouldn't. Because <laughs> Lauren really- I didn't think it was too dark. Lauren likes to write the dark lyrics. So I should have known. But I know if Kath, <laughs> Kath does not. What? You're the opposite of Lauren. What? What? You question- poems? Well, no, no, no. Not emotionally, but you question if things are might be too dark. Oh, yeah. We have like yeah. the two sides of us. But I didn't with that verse. Yeah. yeah. I yes. was like- Because yeah, it wasn't. We should say the thing about- I was like, like ah. With the self-harm, yeah. I was even like, we could go more, but I don't want anyone to be uncomfortable. Like, I yeah. want, I just want it to be clear that's what it was about. But you guys are the two people. ends. It's great because you will question like, is this- too- Oh, I'll question two sometimes. And then Lauren's like, ooh, let's do this thing. So it's good. It's good. Lord so love a stabbing visual. Um, I remember. I also thought we should take the first chorus down so that it didn't have the drums in yet. Yeah, mm-hmm. and then the second one is bigger. So mm-hmm. we did that. Then we showed that to Lisa mm-hmm. when she felt could hear more of the full. Because I felt like you need to hear the full picture, and you yeah. need yeah, to hear. Yeah, and we didn't have the second verse when we showed yes. her. We showed that to her. I was like, wait, let me fix what I've been working on. Let's let's listen to that. So when we showed that to her, then she was like, oh, okay, I get it. Yes, we should do this. Yes. And Lisa, Lisa came in. It was, we, that was such a great day. Well, then we did a remember? group session. And it was like electric energy. I have energy. the videos from that. It was okay. so fun. We all were like oh. hyper and like just so. We all got together yeah. to fix. Oh, so I was so showing. Right. So, okay, so this is the next step. The next step was we did a group writing session because I came in with the second verse that was not finished. It had, I was like, okay, something about this here, something about this here. I don't know how to make it sound right. Mm -hmm. So we all got together and we went through like all the different things I had recorded in there. Like, is this good? Is this bad? And uh, there was different things like um, trigger warning, the lyrics of the second verse of self-harm. It was like the scars on your, wait, when you're alone, the scars in your arms show the truth that you hide. That we were like, that wasn't originally that. It was like trying to figure out what it would be and like just getting those things to fit perfectly together. When we when we got that one, it was like, yes. And that's when we wrote together. We wrote um second pre. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yes. If I'm already broken and everyone knows oh, it, that line, I was like. Painful. And we went back and forth on the why should I be alive, which I really liked it from the beginning, but I think we were kind of like, does it make sense? Like, is the phrasing it right? Se- first does pre- it make sense right? for the first yeah. one? Oh, was it the first one? Yes. Because it was, why else should I be alive? And you guys are like, well, it doesn't make sense. Da, 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 da. It didn't yeah. technically I was like, they get it, they sense. get it. Yeah. If you don't go as... But I like it. <laughs> if you're it not makes, structuring, diagramming a sentence, then yeah. it works. Then we... So we wrote that as a, as a group. We went through and we pretty... I think we finished the entire song yeah. right, at that point. We yeah. went through the bridge... And I had recorded a rough oh, of your stuff. and we changed it to I am more than skin, more than bone. Oh, oh, yeah. I think. Oh, the soft chorus. I, had, I don't know. I wish I had that. Um, I know I do have it somewhere. I think, I can't remember if I was like, let's do the I. I think I did that. I made an I chorus. I I think I did that in my demo. I don't remember. That I played I, for you guys. I could go find it probably. But Yeah, and I want to say Lisa that. like came in and she really like, Lisa has a gift for cleaning like structure it up. Yes. Lisa yeah. really like was like, oh, this would be better if it was this word or if mm-hmm. it was changed in this way. She really like, especially the second verse and first verse maybe too, she like really cleaned it up. Yeah. And she was the one who said, so Lisa's very um, decisive. Lisa and I, maybe the most decisive. I don't know. Well, Lisa's even more. She'll be like this. I'm like, <laughs> okay, okay. So Lisa, we were not sure about I am more, you are more. And I was like, eh, I don't know, I don't know. And Lisa's like, it has to go up. 
<laughs> Which you were saying it should I, go up. Yeah. I and originally I was like, we should what? go up. Yeah. We should no. go up. two were on that melody, and then me and you were on the other like, melody. No, let's do it later. Because you guys were like, oh, it's so special. Save it for the end. Lisa and I were like, no, no it has do to it go the up. whole song. We and were then like very they were bullheaded. Right. Once we recorded it like that, I'm like, okay, yeah, it's, it's right. It's, it's, yep. Yep, 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 yep. So that was really good. So then we finished the song. And yeah. she also the changed the key. Lisa's like, ooh, we should change it. Yeah. Lisa's also the most, well, yeah, the most opinionated with keys. I, I do definitely have a lot of strong opinions, but Lisa will specifically be like, no, it can't be this one, whatever. Well, Lisa's really into how a key feels. Well, yeah, I, which I love. Aren't we all that's a, No, I'm saying but that's like her top thing. Well, where she she's has like, very specific connotations. Like, no, there's, yeah. yes. I, okay, so yeah, Lisa and I will go back and forth on keys. I'm like, this one feels like this to me. She's like, it feels like this to me. Yeah. <laughs> but but do, do you all feel like that or no? I, yes. yeah. Definitely depending on. Some keys feel darker. Yeah. Some feel more like bright, but in the wrong well, way. Well, if you sing a song, so I always have to do this, especially when we do like our TikTok covers. I have to pick a key oftentimes. And it's like, I'll sing in a bunch of different keys. Certain ones, it will feel almost like, I don't know, like not as emotional. Yeah, yeah. just wrong. It's you not just, hitting. You change it by one half step, one whole step, and suddenly it's like, whoa. Yeah, yeah. It's which so is so weird. Which is so cool because it's the same melody, but it's a different key. It's, you know what it's kind of like with um, a different idea to give you an example? It's kind of like if you had a rainbow. You're looking at all different rain, the rainbow and you change just the shades of the same color. So you still have blue, but you're doing like a pastel rainbow rainbow versus mm-hmm. like jewel tones versus yeah. like whatever. Mm-hmm. That's kind of yeah. what it's like. It's That's the a same, good metaphor. I think, right? It's the same. Technically, it's still red, right? Yeah. Still a C. It's but still it's a not C. the same well, it's not still a C. Actually, but it's not. It's the same it's melody. Right. Yeah. It's the same, yeah, it's like, the same structure. structure. The first, the fourth, the third, whatever. Yeah. And also one other thing, I just want to represent Lisa. I'm like, I want to represent Lisa. Since she's, she's not, not here. here yeah. One other thing that Lisa did was in the bridge. That is the bridge, right? I am. Yeah. 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 Then I originally had it as, I am a daughter. I am a sister. I am a mother. I am stronger. Oh, I am Donna, Donna, Donna. And Lisa was like, no, no, no. We should just do three. I yeah. am, I am, I am. And then go, I am, I am. Oh, yeah. With like the backgrounds. Yeah. And I was like, okay, that's really cool. And the um, rhythm of the I I am stronger. I feel like she helped with yeah, that. Yeah, I think she kind of changed the rhythm a little too. I think yeah. because Lisa's brain is so organized. Yes. Um, Mine is not. <laughs> Lisa is incredibly Lisa has compartments in her purse. Organized. Like we talked about our, um, we talked about our organizing sc- styles. styles. And Lisa and I are the only ones who have the minute yes. ones, right? You two have, yeah. you three have the We're broader the categories. Big broad, baskets. Yeah. Yes. yes. So Lisa, if you look like in her closet and whatnot, it's just like, very, micro categories. Yeah, micro categories. And she's like that with songs too. She'll like notice, she'll and notice grammar things. grammar and like, yeah. yes. It's, mm-hmm. it's just great um, having all of us different brains yeah. because we each bring such different elements. That's why, that's something we realized this year is we need to collab more. Yeah. Which you might be thinking like, what do you mean? Well, we had gotten in the habit of just like, I'll work on the song on my own, then I'll show it to everyone, and then Lauren will go work it on her own, and then Lisa will work it on her own, but we realize we need to be in the same room, yes. like working on it together. Yeah. yeah. And it's so cool, to, and then we go off on our own and do stuff, which mm-hmm. is cool. So that was really, really cool. So we finished the song. Thanks for listening to the Cimarelli Podcast. To hear the rest of this episode, join our Patreon at patreon.com slash Cimarelli, where we post every episode in full. You can also watch all of our past seasons and Patreon-only episodes when you become a patron. You've been listening to the Cimarelli Podcast. Follow Cimarelli on Spotify and subscribe on YouTube. You can also find Cimarelli on Facebook and Instagram.